Becoming a blockchain developer is one of the best ways to make money in the crypto space. One reason why is that there's so many different ways to make money with these skills. You know, you can get a job, you can become a freelancer, you can create your own trading bots, do flash loans. But what if you could create your own blockchain application that actually paid you passive income? Well, you can. And in this video, I'm going to talk about a specific blockchain network that's going to pay developers passive income for putting applications on that network. Okay, I'm going to tell you what it is and why this is such a big opportunity as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to take advantage of all this crazy opportunity happening in blockchain right now, then I can show you how to become a blockchain developer step-by-step step start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Let's talk about this blockchain network that's paying developers passive income for building on top of their network. So what is it? Well, it's Starkware. So what is Starkware? Well, it's an Ethereum layer two blockchain. So what does that mean? Well, people complain about Ethereum all the time being too slow and too expensive to use for mass adoption. And the answer to that is not making Ethereum faster itself, but it's actually creating these things called layer twos, which works kind of like a separate blockchain that piggybacks on top of Ethereum. You pay the gas fees there, and it re results in faster and cheaper transactions that are way more scalable than actually using Ethereum by itself. So Starkware is one example of this. And you might have seen other layer twos out there like Arbitrum, Optimism, or Base. And so all the layer twos that you see here, they all work slightly differently and they all do different things to try to capture a part of the market share for Ethereum layer twos. And so one thing that Starkware is doing is they just announced their Devonomics program that's distributing $3.5 million in fees to developers paid out in passive income. So how does that work and how can you take advantage of it? Well, let's first talk about how it's going to work, okay? So let's talk about how blockchain fees work in the first place. I'm gonna give you a really simple example that you can follow along with. Let's say that you're using an application like Uniswap, okay? This is the most popular application on top of any blockchain. It's a decentralized exchange or a DEX where you can just swap tokens inside the app and the app that you're seeing here talks directly to the blockchain. So let's say you have Ether, for example, you wanna swap it to USDC token, a stable coin. You just say, I wanna swap one Ether. You select USDC, you connect your MetaMask wallet, you quick swap, and that goes directly to the blockchain. Now, when you're clicking swap inside your MetaMask, you're gonna see a little transaction fee pop up, okay? And that transaction fee is paid in Ether, that's the gas fee, and part of that gas fee is gonna to go to the validators that are running the network. So said a different way, basically you're paying part of your fee directly to the blockchain. So when you connect your wallet to the website, it talks to the blockchain, to the Uniswap smart contracts, and that fee is going basically to a node right here that's gonna have a crypto wallet associated with it that gets you know that reward for producing that block that gets included into the chain. And you as a developer, let's say you coded out Uniswap, you don't get any part of that fee, okay? But what if instead you could just create a smart contract and put it out there and then when people use it, you know, the rewards wouldn't go all to the people running the network. They would actually get shared to you as the smart contract creator or the developer in this case and you could just get paid passive income once you put your application out there. Well, that's exactly what Starkware is doing with this Devonomics program. All right, so quick pause. If you want to become a blockchain developer, then you need to get good at JavaScript. It's the number one programming language for blockchain behind Solidity, and it's going to give you a massive edge if you're trying to land a blockchain developer job, create your own trading bots, do flash loans, whatever. And I've been working on the ultimate JavaScript training that will help you do just that, and I'm going to be announcing that officially on my YouTube channel in the next week. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. All right, so back to the video. All right, so now let's get into the details of how these fees are going to get distributed, and then I'll talk about some ideas for what you could do if you actually wanted to try this. So according to the press release, about 10% of the network fees from the project launched through November 30th of 2023. So again, since their mainnet launch has been quite some time, all that you know money that was collected, about 10% of that amounting to 1,600 ETH or about $3.5 million is going to get paid out to developers uh, in the form of passive income for creating these applications. Now, these rewards are going to get paid out in the Stark token uh, which is yet to be released at the time of recording this video. And basically your, record, your rewards are going to accrue. And then whenever the Stark airdrop happens, you'll be able to claim a part of those rewards and then get those fees. And from my understanding, on an ongoing basis with passive income just for having your application on the network. And so there's a few different ways to actually get these rewards. So the first way is through what I'm talking about by creating smart contracts and putting them on the chain or apps. And the other way is for core development, okay? 
So basically, if you create a smart contract and put it out there, then 8% of the collected fees are actually going to go to DAP developers. So if somebody goes and uses your DAP, then you get paid out part of those fees all right, as a reward for doing this as an incentive. Now, the fees that you earn from your DAP are going to be proportional to the usage. So if you create a really popular DAP, then of course you're going to get more fees than somebody with a less popular DAP. Okay, that's just you know how it's going to work. But the whole point is you don't have to create some type of fee mechanism inside your app. It's going to get paid out to you automatically. Now, the other side of it is 2% of these fees over 300 ETH is going to go out to core developers. So basically, these are people who are actually contributing to the Starkware core ecosystem or the infrastructure. And if you contribute to that, then you're also going to get paid out uh, incentive fees, a smaller amount for this as well. So the easier thing for sure is going to be for application developers who are creating smart contracts that other people are using and then collect that passive income reward that way. Now, also, it's easy to look at stuff like this in the crypto ecosystem and say, why are they doing this? OK, why would they just give away money like this? Well, you have to think about it. There's lots of incentives here. Starkware is a new ecosystem, relatively speaking, and they need more applications on the network. They want to draw attention to their network. And so they're going to you know, basically give away part of the money that they're creating out of thin air okay, with the Stark tokens to people to incentivize to do that. That gives them more applications on the network and then more people can use the network. It's got more network effect. Again, you don't want to use a blockchain that's got no applications, just like you don't want to use a social network that's got no friends, okay? And so they want to make a popular blockchain network, and they're incentivizing developers to do it this way. And it's also, you know, kind of helping with the marketing and the hype for their upcoming Stark uh, token airdrop. And that's exactly why I think there could be a big opportunity on the table, is actually got to do with the Stark token airdrop and the incentives for the users. So let me explain that. So the playbook for airdrops these days is basically, you know, releasing a brand new cryptocurrency and distributing it to people who have used the network before you airdrop the token. And a lot of times that's for people who have gone and made transactions on those blockchains and they have a history and the tokens get airdropped to them. And when these airdrop hunters are doing this, they're going to start using applications, okay, that they may not have otherwise used in order to qualify for these airdrops. And so if you actually create an application and put it out there before this airdrop happens, then it's much more likely that people would actually use your application who may not have otherwise done that to qualify for the airdrop. And then you, you know, put yourself in position to collect part of the fee revenue that's going to get paid out to developers for putting, you know, applications out there who get this passive income reward as a part of the Devonomics program. And so that's why this is such a win-win for all parties involved and creates a big opportunity for blockchain developers. And so how would you do this? Well, basically, you would just need to create some type of smart contract that people would actually use and put it on the blockchain uh, before they distribute these rewards as part of this ongoing program. And you would get paid out, you know, in proportion to the amount that people use it uh, to your wallet for creating that application. Now, there's probably some really simple applications that you can create in order to take advantage of this. One really simple application idea is just an NFT project. Okay. You know, new NFT projects launch all the time and people are always trying to find new NFT projects before they blow up. They're not that hard to create, okay? And so you could do lots of different things. You could create a basic NFT project. You could create, uh, you know, NFT drop, some type of NFT market that lets people buy and sell NFTs. Or you could do some mashup with like artificial intelligence and NFTs, like AI, NFT, image generators that people can hold in their wallets. I mean, you can think of a project that's kind of fun, all right, that people would want to use for speculative purposes and also for airdrop hunting. That's probably the easiest place to start rather than create some crazy complex DeFi application that could be fraught with regulatory concerns as well. But at the end of the day, no matter what you're putting on the blockchain, you always want to check to see what the regulatory concerns are in your area before taking action on that. All right, so that's an overview of Starkware and Starknet, the blockchain network that's paying developers passive income for building on top of their platform. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are you going to take advantage of this opportunity? Do you think this is going to be a good thing for developers? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash the like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. That really helps these videos out so that more people can learn about blockchain. And if you want to take advantage of all this crazy opportunity that's happening inside the blockchain space, I mean, we're seeing all kinds of opportunities for developers to make passive income. Then I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step -step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.